Hi guys, this is Warren from EV Offer. Today I'm going to show you the OEM tailgate upgrade for older Model 3. So this car has uh, went to the Tesla Service Center to do the OEM tailgate upgrade. But uh, the event is not uh, goes very well and I will show you why. First of all, uh, the opening height. Uh, I am 170 uh, tall and it is only up to this level. You cannot push it further up because uh, this is the limitation of the set of uh, this set of tailgate. So we will tell you more about this kit and the comparison with our kit. Okay, so you can come over here and take a picture of this button. I personally think this button looks pretty well. Um, it is small and it has a weather seal. Uh, other side and the button is pretty small and decent it is very similar to the one on uh, 2021 or after model 3 and you can also take a look at the struts here this is the OEM upgraded struts and this is our struts uh, you can see the size is similar and it also has a weather seal here such uh, similar as ours but we have a three section struts on the newest kit. So there is another difference with the OEM tailgate and our kit. Uh, first of all, the OEM tailgate has a upper latch. They use the motor here to do the latching. When it comes down, it latch here. But on our kit, we have a latch motor on the bottom. This is the latch motor with the replacement latch and we will replace the latch here and the latching is completed over here instead of uh, here so when it closed you can see uh, the upper latch is engaging and latch down okay I will show you how it works When there is something touching the system, it will engage the latching automatically. And I can unlatch it. I think the drawback is that uh, it also have a strong motor sound when it is unlatching. So you will both you will hear the latching and unlatching sound when you are opening or closing the trunk. Um, the, what is the drawback? of the OEM tailgate is that uh, it has a lower height, opening height than our kit and also with the OEM uh, gas strut. For the OEM gas strut, I think it is opening like here and for ours, it is around here and the, uh, the OEM upgrade kit is only up to this level. And the open effect is not as smooth as our kit. You can see it is opening up to this and have a small pause and then continue the opening. Uh, the closing is uh, not a problem. It is closing smoothly and the latching is fast. Um, I think it is okay, but uh, customer complained that sometimes it is not opening properly. So this is the problem of the OEM kit. Uh, next, we will take a look at the uh, uh, control unit. I'm not sure where they hide the control unit, but I, I will try to figure it out. We usually hide it here. I'm not sure if they are doing the same thing here. Okay, I found it. Here is the ECU. You can see that they have their own mount for the ECU, which is pretty good because uh, we don't have it. We just use some double-sided tape to stick it somewhere here. Um, and you can see, uh, we'll, we, we'll take it out and see how it works. As you can see that this is the control unit we have taken out from the car. 
Um, there are three ports that is coming from different parts. I believe them uh, should be corresponding to the struts, to the motor, to the signal, and from the power. And you can see the three connectors here, and we will take apart the wires and see how the wires run. It. So after inspection, we have suspected that Tesla has run three sets of wires uh, to the trunk lid. Um, they are corresponding to uh, the button, and one of them is for the um, latch, and the other one goes back to the original connector of the latch. The original latch comes with a 3-pin connector, but the new um, latch comes with a 6-pin connector, so they have an adapter wire that's converting the 3-pin to 6-pin, and there should be 3 extra wires running from the ECU to the latch. Okay, so here is the uh, OEM upgraded strut and our strut. You can see uh, the length is very similar to ours, but they have moved the struts a little bit outward. And you can see on the label, this is the label on the strut. This is actually provided by a Chinese manufacturer. Here is how the uh, Tesla service center run the strut wire. They go back, uh, they run the wire from here down to here, and there is a hole inside, and it, they run the strut wire inside. They use the hole here to run the strut wire and connect it all the way to the other side here and then goes to the connectors. Um, Tesla is doing crazy. They remove the entire bumper to connect the power. My colleague is now removing the bumper and showing the power connection. Tesla has connected the power to the ECU here at the rear side on the bumper and this connector is idle. I guess this is the power reserved for the electric tailgate at the beginning of Tesla designing the kit because uh, this is really an idle connector and connect to nothing. I don't know. So uh, this is it and I think we will just wrap it with the electrical tape and put it here. We have completed figuring out where the power, where the struts goes and now we have to figure out where the CAN uh, data goes. Uh, we figured out that Tesla actually did the same thing as we do. We connect the, uh, the CAN here. This is the CAN connector from Tesla. Yeah, they also wrap it perfectly. Okay, so we disconnected the CAN from them. This is the CAN connector and the wire that they run uh, from the center console back to here. And we will take out this wire and swap it to ours. We eventually take away the OEM upgraded tailgate and replace with our kit. Now the opening and closing is more smooth. And it takes me two days to revert it because uh, we have to take out the OEM uh, electric motor kit because uh, it is a little bit different uh, from the original part. We order the parts and it takes two days to arrive. So we revert it into a manual one. Now it is working perfectly. So you can see we replace it back with our button and the opening and closing is smoother much more than before. And also we have to take a look at the opening height. As you remember, the OEM upgraded electric tailgate goes up to here. And our kit goes up to here. For the OEM manual one, it should be around here. So um, this is the difference between different kits. And the main thing is that 
we now integrated the OEM tailgate closing feature into the touchscreen because Tesla has enabled it on the software. So we can utilize it to open and close the trunk with the screen. Now let's go and see. As you can see now the trunk is open. It is not showing O-P-E-N-E-D open. It is showing a close. When we press the close, the trunk is closing. You can take a look. Okay, so now the trunk is closed and it will show an open button again. So the UI status is completely correct because we have tuned the software to um, allow the trunk closing on the screen now. We can also see it on the app. Let me open it. And you can press the close button now. This is the comparison between the OEM upgraded electric tailgate and our kit. Uh, I hope you like this video and I hope it shows you more information about the OEM upgraded kit because I think there are no one sharing any information online. So I hope you like this video. If you like our channel, please uh, follow, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.